So, I mean, classical music is a very recent term, very recent concept. For many centuries, there was only music, whether it was folkloric, whether it was uh, popular, and then whether it was serious, it was just one language, one music. In the beginning of the 20th century, that changed and we have more complex music, but that's kind of rubbish. There was never supposed to be any divide, so classical music is just like any other music, it's, and it belongs to everybody. So it's a, um, uh, just a matter of going to the past, and um, just as you visit a, a church or you visit a museum or you're walking in a town you don't know, then you can enjoy listening to a piece written by somebody. It's just, it's not there, like uh, always, it's not a concept, it's written by a human being that uh, is nearer to us than we think. It could be like um, Mozart or it could be Brahms or it could be uh, Mahler. And those people really existed and it's totally amazing what they wrote. And it's a pity if we don't think that we can access it and we can enjoy it. We can, whether it's a simple tune, whether it's, uh, it makes you in a, in a special mood, whether you're in love, whether you you fear of uh, dying, whether you lost someone, whether all those things are already in this and you can share it. and. Uh, and I think that's uh, the most important is to think that it's not for certain people, but f is for everybody.